Hey guys, just doing a quick overview of the E-Fixman BMS. Uh, basically it's like the dolly um, with a few different changes to it compared to that. I, like some people are saying these are knockoffs or some, you know, I don't, I don't know how it goes. But anyway, here's your, your BMS wire with a clip. Um, it is worth noting that on the other one here, that clip was snapped right off uh, in case the... Uh, you guys are watching this. <laughs> um, it does come with instructions, but it shows on the instructions a different type of um, BMS. I mean, it's good to have that, but um, if someone's not used to setting these up, like has no experience whatsoever, this could be confusing. Um, you should take a picture of this and Photoshop it onto here. It just make it much easier for the person. I guess what I get why you do this though, because you can basically put this in any type of controller and saves you from printing different uh, logos out and that. But anyway, it's good to have. And here it is, e fix man. This is an 8S. Uh, I like that it's got uh, ribbing on the top and bottom for extrusion for uh, heat. Um, it also has these tabs that are part of the mold that you can skewer it down to something which the dolly does not have that there is nothing here to mount it with um, the e fix man does not have a thermal sensor on it or this one does and uh, go for a size comparison here without those pieces on the end they're pretty much the same size same wiring by the looks of it too uh, yeah, the wiring is good, doesn't feel cheap. Connectors pretty much feel the same as the, if not the same as the dolly. Good enough. Um, what I would like to do is take it apart and have a quick boo on the inside. Like I said, this one here, when it showed up, the clip is snapped clean off. So I'll have to glue that in. That'll just pop out and make a mess of themselves. Anyway, let's uh, get a screwdriver and see if we can't crack this open, have a quick look at the insides. Yeah, I don't know how easy this is going to be to take apart. Hmm. See, I don't want to... Oh, there it goes. Cool. So at least they went out of their way to uh, use a spreader. That's nice. Looks look like uh, balance resistors. That's cool. Let's see if we can dig a little deeper into it. Don't see any more screws. Let's see if we can find something to wedge in there. There we go. See, I don't want to pull too much in. Hmm. Well, that's pretty straightforward. Oh, I see what they did. Well, that's got to suck. They potted the board. That sucks. So if you wanted to repair this, you would have to basically... Uh, you couldn't. This is a hard plastic. This isn't something you, this isn't a, something you could just uh, pull apart. Wow. That's too bad. I was hoping it could be modified. Hopefully I don't blow it up. But yeah, if you were thinking of maybe opening it up and modifying it or repairing it if you blew it up, these probably aren't for you because... This plastic's going to be hard to take off without damaging the board. So, 
Anyway, you should get a good look at the inside. I'm not going to open my dolly, obviously. Probably is the same. Okay, there is actually something worth noting here, guys. That I would have left out. Uh, these are the balance resistors here and here. Um, obviously, they're using that goop there and their heat sink to that there. This part here is your FETs. And there is no grease or anything on here. They're just relying that the heat's going to transfer from your FETs to this surface here. And that'll be enough, which it will not. If you if you load this at 100, 100 amp, which it's designed for, uh, you're going to have premature failure. So you're going to want to put a uh, layer of grease on that before you slap it back together. I think that's worth noting. Your resistors are covered with this, this stuff here, but these are not. Hmm. stuff's pretty old. I don't even know if it's any good anymore. Feels a little dry. Oh man, this stuff is like glue. That's better than nothing, I guess. Oh, so gooey, it's, it's dried right out. There we go. Ugh. Okay, add that to my list of things I need. It's better than nothing. <laughs> Prefer you use some nice liquid, you know, something that's a little softer and maybe white. Ugh. Better than nothing. Cool. I'll do it to the other one, and uh, let's not have to worry about that later, guys.